The NHS long-term plan that was published in January sets out an exciting vision for healthcare in the future. It's a vision of more personalised care, which is more patient-centric, tech-enabled, more focused on prevention, much more likely to be delivered in the community, in our own homes, rather than in acute hospitals. To deliver this vision of the future, we are definitely going to need more people working in health and social care. But more people on its own isn't going to be enough. To deliver the vision, we also need to change the way that people work in the NHS. First and foremost, we need to put people at the very core of the way that we manage the system. Our people are our most important prized asset, and we need to think about everything we do through their eyes. We need to make the NHS the best place to work across England. We need to build a, a compassionate and inclusive leadership culture. And we need to design careers and ways of working that allow people to work more flexibly, to flex their careers in the future and to work in more multidisciplinary cross-organisational teams. The Interim People Plan that we're publishing today sets out that vision, but it also sets out some immediate actions that we can get going on now to make the NHS a much better place to work. It's the beginning of a journey working collaboratively across the NHS and with our colleagues in social care and in higher education to build a full people plan that we expect to launch in the autumn. In the meantime, there's a lot to get going on now. Each and every one of us can play a part in making the NHS a better place to work today.